Now, Android was always meant to go beyond phones and tablets. Last year at I.O., we showed you a sneak peek of a new kind of Android media device, which we called Project Tungsten. We've been really busy since then, and now we want to show you what we've created. And to do that, please welcome Joe Britt and Matt Hershenson. <laughs> Thank you, Hugo. Uh, you just saw an amazing tablet for enjoying all your great Google Play content, but we want to go further. Uh, we're entering a new era in consumer electronics where the combination of hardware, software, and the cloud is opening up an entirely new world of possibilities. With Project Tungsten, we brought together the power of Android and Google Play to develop the first consumer electronics product Google has ever designed and built from the ground up. We call it Nexus Q. Let's take a look. I think most people have no idea what it is when they first look at it. We're trying to create something that is unexpected, powerful, and mysterious. There was a point in time where consumer electronics were a physical thing, a transistor radio or a cassette player, a Walkman. And then the software element of it became very important in terms of the experience. And now I think we're entering this era where consumer electronics is the hardware and the software and the cloud. Q is a small Android powered computer and it connects to all of the media that you have stored in the cloud. The fact that it was going to be in your home meant that it needed to be not only functional, but also beautiful. Google products are used by millions and millions of people every day on the web and mobile side. How that translates into physical products, it raises a lot of interesting uh, opportunities. This is how you get the software from the device to your phone. Now that you're moving into an era where devices are controlled from your phone or your tablet, we can allow people to use their devices to control their entertainment in a very simple way. People's stereo systems, they were very, very much revered, but when you're into people's houses, you would never touch them. The idea here is that people can be inquisitive, play with it, but also start using it interactively. And it's the sort of thing that you think, why can't everything do this? Isn't this the right way that music should be? This really is a third wave of consumer electronics, and it's all about the cloud. Nexus Q is just the beginning. Thank you. Um, we're, we're really excited to unveil Nexus Q. Uh, it's a small Android-powered computer that's designed to live in your home. It plugs into the best speakers and TV in your house, and it's always connected to the cloud. Nexus Q tightly integrates with Google Play, so you can easily stream music and video. You use your Android phone or tablet to control it, but you're not actually streaming content from your device to it. Instead, Nexus Q pulls your content directly from Google Play. So, in other words, you use your phone or tablet to control the cloud. Now, before I show you how this works, Matt's going to tell you about all the design and engineering that went into creating Nexus Q. Thanks, Joe. When we started developing this product, we wanted to build something really special, not just another black box. The industrial design is totally unique. And what we've managed to put into this small sphere is nothing short of incredible. The heart of Nexus Q is an OMAP 4460, which is the same chip used in Galaxy Nexus. It also has a state-of-the-art audiophile grade amplifier built right in so you can hook your speakers right up. And at 25 watts, this small sphere can really fill a room with beautiful, clear, crisp sound. Of course, music and video today are digital. 
Some would say analog outputs are a little old fashioned. Nexus Q has optical digital audio and micro HDMI outputs so you can stream music and 1080p video to the best speakers and the best TV in your home. Nexus Q has dual band Wi-Fi and Ethernet, as well as NFC and Bluetooth, which lets you set it up in a few minutes right from your phone. There's also a micro USB port to connect future accessories and encourage general hackability. <laughs> always popular and always a great feature. The hardware is pretty cool, but what brings Nexus Q to life is Android. Mm -hmm. Joe's going to show us what it can do. OK, let's take a look at Nexus Q in action. So Matt made me move my living room to the stage here today. Uh, and I'm going to start by playing some music for you. So up here, let's go to the device. Uh, and we can see that uh, this is Randall's device, and he's gone into the Google Play Music app. Here we can see his entire music collection. Uh, we can see his playlists. As he scrolls around, we can also see his artists, albums, and so on, all stored in the cloud. Now, Randall is going to choose a room to start playing music in, and he's picking the living room. Um, let's see what music he picks. And it looks like he picked The Need Superficial by Odyssey. You have very good taste, Randall. And it's very appropriate because Building Q has been a bit of an Odyssey. Sounds really good. And as you can hear, it starts playing right away from the cloud. Now, we wanted the experience of listening to music to be more than just great quality sound. Part of what makes Nexus Q so cool is that listening to music can also be visual and interactive. It lights up with a ring of LEDs around the perimeter, which respond to the music as it plays. And if you have it hooked up to a TV, you'll see this visualizer as well. If you have more than one Nexus Q, you can play music throughout your entire house. You just pick the rooms you want, and it'll play your music in sync. Now, for example, Randall's going to show us how this works. He's going to pick the, he's going to add the green room Nexus Q, so the rest of the team back there can enjoy the music in perfect sync with the living room here on stage. You know, mobile devices have made music more of a personal and sometimes isolating experience, but music is often best enjoyed with friends. That's why we made Nexus Q the first ever social streaming device. It's a cloud-connected jukebox where everyone brings their own music to the party. Songs from their own Google Play music libraries to Nexus Q. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to ask Matt and my friend Chris to help me out. Where did Chris go? Oh, here comes Chris. Chris, please. So now Randall is going to start playing another song from his Nexus 7. And once he does that, we can see the music cue. And oh, Randall picked the same song. So we've, we've already heard this song. Um, so let's give somebody else a chance to play the DJ. Matt, what would you like to hear? Well, how about this song, All the Lights, by Fawn? Reminds me of those cool lights on Nexus Q. Nice. And so Matt is going to use his device to add a song to the queue. And what we should see is that song added to the queue. And there it is. Look. So how about another one, Matt? OK. Pretty cool. I'm going to do some more. How about this song, Dark Star, by Pulisea? That's a really cool song. So. You can see that the songs Matt just added appeared right in the queue on Randall's device. So everybody who has a device is able to see the queue of music that's going to be played. Chris, what do you have to add? I think I'm going to add this really great new rockabilly guitarist, J.D. McPherson, but I'm not interested in waiting around, so I think I'm just going to take right over. So, so this is a great example. So at any time, anyone can move songs around the queue, and anyone can take control of the listening experience. Everyone can see the queue in real time on their devices. It's pretty cool that my friends can now play their music in my living room. So that's music on Nexus Q with multi-room playback and social streaming.
A great amplifier built right in with digital output so you can hear music on the best speakers and TV in your home. And speaking of TV, wouldn't it be cool if you could bring all of your movies to a friend's house? Well, with Google Play, you're always carrying your entire digital library with you. And as a social streaming device, Nexus Q lets anyone connect and start playing videos from their phone right away. Have you guys seen any movies lately? What do you guys think about Transformers Dark of the Moon? I hear it's pretty good, but I always think, is there more than meets the eye? The robots in disguise. <laughs> do we have that movie? I have it in my library right here. OK, cool. Let's check it out. So Matt's going into Play Movies and TV app on his Nexus 7. And all he has to do is choose the living room TV and hit play. I was watching it at home last night. I'm going to start it up here, and it's going to pick up at the very same spot where I left off when I was playing it at home last night. I always like Bumble. Oh, he's dead. It's awesome. Okay, cool. So, so you just saw how easy it was for Matt to play a movie from his collection on my TV. No messy authentication or configuration needed. It just works. And remember, what's really cool here is that Matt is controlling what's happening from his Android tablet, but the movie is coming directly from the cloud. Now, it's always fun to watch YouTube videos with friends, and Nexus Q works great with YouTube. Just like with music, you and your friends can play your favorite YouTube videos right on Nexus Q. And again, the content comes from the cloud. So Randall's going to go into the YouTube app and search for Android in Space. Some of the guys on our team worked with a student who had a great idea to send an Android figurine into space. So let's take a look at that. So that's really cool. But now let's take a look at another video. Matt, what would you like to see? There's this cool video of these guys beatboxing on a Google Plus Hangout on their Galaxy Nexus. Let's play that. Cool. So as you can see, Matt was able to just take over the TV straight from YouTube. No more passing around a keyboard or laptop. Everyone is in control. So that's Nexus Q. Amazing hardware with an integrated app. It streams music, movies, and TV from Google Play, as well as YouTube. And what's really cool is that it's the world's first ever social streaming device. Nexus Q will sell for $299. It'll be available in the US to start, and you'll be able to purchase it right from Google Play. You can place a pre-order starting today, and we'll begin shipping orders in July. Thanks, everyone. And here's Hugo to wrap things up.